Okay, so after copying the sequences from our uh, calculate kind security hash project system one folder, we need to configure those sequences. So we'll need to start with uh, going to the, our init all application file. So go to your test frame test uh, no. go to your framework folder and look for the init all application XAML. And here we need to invoke the system one login. So let me just uh, check that. So you can easily just drag that uh, workflow in our project. And then in here, we need to bind our argument. So the first one is system one URL. So here um, type ion config and then system one URL and the string All right and then for system one credential it's ion config system one credential so be careful on assigning value in here it should match with what you have uh, input on your config excel file so i think it's good now let's hit okay so the next thing is go to the close all application file. So let me just close this first. Make sure to save that. Close all application. Where is that here? And we need to invoke the system one underscore close, but I name it on 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 my project system one logout if you got confused so there's nothing to bind in here so make sure to save that close the sequence and go to kill all process look for the kill all process and here we need to add an activity name kill process so let's rename it kill process ie for formality and now let's edit this process name so i explore it should be in string form hit ok make sure to save that and close that form All right and now uh, we need to we can already start with I'm sorry, the next step is to open the process XML. So go to your, you can do that uh, from here, or you can just simply open this one. And as the first instruction, we need to create a string variable to set the current work item ID. So we need to have here a variable W I I D and it should be a string. Now we need to add oops we need to oh where, where's my guy there? We need to add a, an assign activity and that W I D should be equals to uh, I am transaction item that specific content <coughs> excuse me and hit ok right so the next step is we need to invoke the oops the navigate to work item details sequence so here we need to invoke that here and then you can see in this we need to bind our uh, variable so it should be our WIID and this should be equals to our config file value work item ID as you can see here uh, I'm I don't know 
what's the variable type of your work item ID on your uh, navigate to work item details workflow but for me it's currently integer so I need to convert the string value to integer so to do that I need to use cint that's a uh, convert to integer function so if this is already string in your sequence there's no need to convert it to integer because it's already string on our declaration so please take note of that now hit ok And the next step is we need to create a blank sequence workflow. So let's create a new sequence. Make sure to save that on our system one folder. Select this folder. And we need to name that system one extract vendor information. Extract vendor information. So hit create and it should have an output tax ID argument. So we need to go, make sure to go to argument tab and then here uh, put a tax ID as the name and make sure that it's an out argument. All right, should be a string. Make sure to save that. Now in our process XML, we need to invoke that uh, sequence so this one extract vendor information and we also need to create a variable tax ID on this sequence so which we will bind in the output argument of this uh, workflow so to easily do that just uh, open this import argument or click that import argument button and then here uh, to directly create a variable press ctrl k on your keyboard and put tax id and hit enter all right so now you can see we have it have a tax id created all right what's the next one we need to create a sequence with with a function to navigate to dashboard. Let me just close this one first. So we need to create a new sequence again. And I need to name it system one navigate to dashboard. Right? And make sure to save that under or within system one folder now let's hit create button and okay we need to invoke that process in our process xml so look for that navigate to dashboard right so some instruction on the PDF file are, are mixed and I think some are missing because I have already uh, created this project. So I think it's better that I've completed some of the uh, some of the sequence before we go on on those next steps. So let's start with the extract vendor information. So here what this sequence should do is extract the tax ID from the work item details. But I don't have my Acme page open. So let me use our test XAML here. And let me just bind this. So if you will follow this, if you will be using test.xaml, make sure to uh, set the config value to the out config uh, argument of the first workflow in here now we need to uh, invoke the login workflow and then here we need to put config system one url that to string and system one oops 
credential that to string and hit OK and now let's test this why I'm doing this because I think I forgot my password in my Acme application so it's better to run it using UiPath or open it using UiPath because my credential was saved on on my asset orchestrator asset oops why Okay, let me just check this. What's the problem in here? Should be good. Wait, let me just try it again. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not sure why this is happening in UiPath Studio right now. The value, as you can see, the value is missing after I close it. So let me just put it again. and config system one maybe i spell it wrong okay now let's try it again The given key was not present in dictionary. Wait, let me find our I think the problem with the config file. Let me just check. It's either system one URL or system one credential, which I spelled wrong in the config file. I think we can see that. Go to setting. System one, yep, this one. So I just proved that it's a case sensitive. So, right now, let's test it again. Come on, port now, please. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are watching this video so I can keep you updated on any new upload uh, video. I think it's working now. Yeah, that's my email. If you have any question, you can send that to my email. Yeah, I forgot it's open now.
Yeah, it's still loading. Yeah, internet so slow. My PC is also getting slow. What's happening? All right, so again, we'll need to work on on this workflow that we just created previously. So let's start with extract vendor information. So, so in this stage, uh, we are expecting that we are. Let's let's look for generate yearly report sample. We are on this page when this workflow is called. So we need to extract this tax ID. So to do that, uh, let's just We need to use the get text activity. And let's look for that. Now we, we cannot easily capture it, so let's capture the, the full label and let's store it for the meantime to a variable called client information i press ctrl k before i type this make sure to do that on your end as well and hit ok I hit enter then hit ok now we need to use an assign activity and we need to string um manipulate this uh, client information variable so to do that let's start with the client information and then substring client information that index of Tax ID and put a space that length and that split. Oops, and by one meant that new line that two car array. And then put the seal in here. Wait, did I miss something in here? Okay, it should be. It should be like this. Last um, tax ID, then that link. Yep. So I hope I well, I will copy this on, on the uh, description section. Make sure to copy that. And there you go. That's all for extract. Uh, vendor information make sure to save that and then the next one is navigate to dashboard so so we need to click this button let's just put a click activity in here and indicate that link and we need to edit the selector of this uh, activity make sure to oops I think there's no need to use the CSS selector, but make sure to change the uh, title. Let's put a wildcard instead because you will navigate back to dashboard from, from different pages. So to make sure that it will be able to catch the active page. 
So let's validate that. Now hit OK. And that's all for this sequence. So make sure to close that. Let me also close this. And so we have the extract vendor and navigate to dashboard. So we'll continue the next step on the next video.